Okay, so, hey guys, um, this is gonna be a little weird because, uh, last time I did this, you will probably notice that I got a lot farther than I am right now. Uh, I think I actually killed that troll? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, but I didn't have enough space on my computer to save that game. So I had to do some rearranging and compressing and come on everything and I did in fact make it and now we have space to save our game yay and also record the video double yay uh, but I'm not gonna take the time to fight that troll again I'm sorry it took too long um I think that I have decided that I need to go level up a little bit more before I go up uh, to High Hrothgar, which is kind of sad because High Hrothgar is like one of the first things that I usually do, but I just don't think I can make it up to 7,000 steps. I'm just not tough enough. So I will go discover Iverstead so I don't have to travel all the way here again when I do decide to come and try it. And we're gonna go, um... We'll go start the Thieves Guild. I feel like that's a pretty low level... I have no, I have no idea how this how this whole thing works. But we're gonna go start the Thieves Guild quest. Uh, on travel on to Riften. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Uh... I'll talk to him about this when I decide to go up to High Rothgar. I don't want to carry this stuff around forever. That was like a habit. So here we are in Iverstead. Go say hi to Wilhelm. Um, and then start making our way on to Rift and I gotta start doing stuff. I feel like I've been putzing around way too much, guys. I don't know about you. I don't know if you agree with me. Welcome to the Villamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Sure. Uh... If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. I'm not... Excuse me. I'm not going to get too invested in any of the stuff here in this town, because we're coming back later. If I just wanted to... Uh, stop by for a drink. Like, get a save game going. <laughs> So I don't have to walk past that stinking troll all the time. Yes, it's auto-saving. Alright, and we're going off to Riften. Oh, come on. Surely I can kill a giant deer. Right? Especially when it seems. Oh, yeah. Nope. Oh, I thought I killed him, but I didn't. I just. And now he's not stuck anymore. Dang it. Shucks. Stuff splashing in the water there. Um. I don't think I'm gonna go too far cross country, because this is like all new territory here for us, so we're just gonna stick to the road and go straight to Riften. This is the road to Riften, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, come on. I totally hit him. I really want to kill a deer. They're just so much fun. My brother loves this kind of thing, and he would literally just, like, spend hours hunting in Skyrim. Okay, we're done wasting arrows. How did I get so many steel arrows? Did I buy them? I'm sorry. I don't know if you noticed, but I do this in spurts. Uh, I make time to sit down and record, like, seven or eight episodes, and then I get caught up by life. Okay, that's a bear. And then I get caught up by life, and I don't, I can't record for like two or three weeks. And then I do it again. So I don't fully remember everything that's happened, 
And I do not want to get killed by a bear. He escaped the troll only to be killed by a bear. Hey, look, a canis root. Where did that bear go? It sees me. It's detected me. Well, I'm gonna die. Yep, I did. Oh, there's a wolf and a bear. Can you guys not have just, like, killed each other, please? Oh, I was healing myself. I wasn't firing on the bear. Alright. So I was gonna go on the road, but maybe we'll, like, go by water. I don't know. This is really, really horrible, guys. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Yes! That was, that was a lot better. That was a lot more impressive. Just forget the first time when I died. Forget, forget about that. And, uh, just remember this one. Because this one was a lot more impressive. How much, how does venison do? Oh good, I didn't eat those things. It's all just two points of health. Two points of health. Okay. So, I have to find my way around the bears and the wolves without dying. Without being detected. And without... Somehow I have to make it to Riften. This is just horrifying. There's a little camp. Uh... Another deer. I'm not even gonna bother because I'm not that good. I'm not that good until I can one-shot them. Uh, where's the road? Let's look at the map. Okay, so I'm headed back towards the road. Hopefully bypassing most of the bears and wolves that want to kill me. That would be nice. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna go over that. Not without a horse. Oh, gosh. Skyrim is not supposed to be, like, freak out. That's not good. Something is detecting me, and I don't know what it is, and I hope it's not a dragon. Oh my gosh, Lydia, sometimes you look like a vampire. Uh, I think it's that. I will be interested to loot this Alakir warrior. I don't think I've seen many of those on the road. Oh, come on. One of you can kill it. Although I did get a kill shot. Hey, cool! I can get some Hammerfell garb. And a scimitar. Curved sword. Sorry. Um. Ugh. I know there was a frostbite spider. Who is that? What do you need? She looks like she's getting ready to kill someone. This is not something that I have seen before. I am highly interested in this. You better watch out. There's a lady getting ready to kill you. What is going on here? What is going on? And she just like... Oh, she's sneaking around because she knows that these guys are looking for a red guard woman. That's funny. That's hilarious. I, I've never seen that before. She's like, don't look at me. I'm not here. It worked. Her Jedi powers worked. I'm impressed. 
Those are some awesome Jedi powers, ma'am. Uh, we're back on the road, which kind of makes me nervous. Honestly, I'm gonna save. We're gonna save. I don't auto. I don't uh, quick save. I never quick save. I just never got in the habit. Probably never will. Sorry. Um, but we're saving because you never know when you're gonna meet a bear. Now, one of these roads. Okay. How does this work? Okay, so we want to take this road because this road goes up across the river and by the really creepy way, I think. <sighs> Having played so much Skyrim, I am almost as familiar with the terrain throughout the entirety of the country as I am with the terrain of my hometown. So I kind of can tell what's coming when and stuff and approximately where things are. I don't know everything perfectly, uh, but there are a lot of places where you can just show me a picture and I'll be like, yeah, that's blah, blah. I don't know exactly where it is. Who is detecting me? I hear bad music. It's Fox. Stay off to the side. Okay, that's what what I wanted to avoid. Because those are stinking hard. Yes, they are. That dungeon is stinking hard. And I think that's where the music is coming from. Could be wrong. There's a prospect spider. Fighting something. Fighting person. Come on, Lydia, let's go save this person. We have to be good humans. One more shot should do it. Okay, well they're going off the other direction. Kind of thought that lady was dead, and I really did want to loot her, but I've got other things to do. I have to make it to rest in this episode. Hot. Starting over makes it to where I can't tell how long I've been. When you die and like backtrack, like you lose track of how long you've been doing stuff. I actually feel like I've been having a pretty good, uh, like instinct for knowing when I've been approximately recording for, um, about somewhere between 18 and 23 minutes ish. Um, But it's a little bit off. I'm gonna try to kill this fox. Dang it, I hate it when the kill shot happens and then you don't actually kill them. That's just disappointing. It's like, yes, I can. No, I didn't. Like, if you took a test and before you got your grade back, your teacher came and she's like, I'm so proud of you! And then you got, like, a C instead of an A. Whoa! Fever. That freaked me out. I don't know if there's anything I'm gonna save or save him. Um. Yes. Save hey, freeze. Um, I don't know if there's anything bad at this path, but I do know that it's a location, and sometimes I like to have locations that I've visited. Yeah, there's nothing bad. Okay. Um, just so you get them on the map. It's nice. <laughs> Excuse me. I have the hiccups. Um, 
uh, I am going to uncheck this. What's in here? Um, strange jester. Okay, so I don't have a ton of quests. Yes! I hate having a big clogged quest log. I think I'm missing the... Okay. There's a shortcut coming up that I haven't decided yet if I want to take. Because I know it's at the end of it. And it's horribly frightening. I guess I'm taking it. Okay. Cool. This music. I just... Ugh. It's making my soul sing right now. I don't know if you guys can understand what that means. But, um... I have a very special... Oh gosh, somebody's... Somebody's... Um, I have a very special relationship with violence. Uh, I love them and they, they bring me extreme joy to listen to. So, yeah, I think I might just cut back to the road here instead of dealing with what's at the end of this. Hey, there's a little pond! Are there mud crabs around? Mud crabs are awful. It looks like a mud crab hole. Oh, this is a little cool little pond. It's like a, like a hangout spot, swimming hole kind of a thing. And here's the road. And there's a person. No, that's a tree. Right. You know you sleepy when. <laughs> Am I going the right direction? Yes. Okay. So I could continue that way. I could go around this way. I could just swim across the lake. I don't know if I've ever been down around in here. What is that? That's really... I don't know if I've ever been down around in there. Cool. Well, we're definitely going to go there on our big... You know what? I have been there. I know it's there. I think I know it's there. No, maybe I don't. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't know. <sighs> I'm sure you guys are fascinated <laughs> with uh, my extensive knowledge of Skyrim. I think this is just a little... Yeah, this is a little track. Not quite a road. But it goes to this woodcutter's house. And they have kind of a sad story. I'm going to come back at some point. Uh, I'm going to come back and not, not bother. I think I'm going to come back. I don't know. Maybe I should be loading up. I, you know what? I'll just go ahead and get this one. Maybe I should be loading up my uh, quest log. So I have options. Are you playing hide and seek? Yep, that's me, Miss Hide and Seek. Where's your ma? Hmm? Can't take anything yet. Oh, I've leveled up. Uh, I think she's up here. It's middle of the day, so she's probably running the mill. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know where she would be. There's a bridge. Where does that bridge go? Is that... Oh, so I can take the, the north route. That would be more convenient, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Definitely taking that road. But I'm gonna find the, the miller. Where'd she go? Little Miss Miller, ma'am. Where are you? I know you're very upset. But I need to talk to you. Where'd you go? Are you hiding? Back here crying? I don't even know. Well, I guess I'll be coming back for the quest because I can't find the mom to talk to her. So. 
There are a lot of Stormcloak soldiers just hanging out around if the you snow. Know any true sons and daughters of Sky, tell them to head to okay, so there's a wolf. Okay, so I got the kill shot, but it didn't kill it. Ah, two new buttons. And then this is a clay deposit, which I'm not gonna mine, because you can mine these forever. There is no limit. Because <laughs> it's for Ay, another hand root. You can usually find them that close together. It's for the uh, house add-on. And there is no limit because you need a lot of clay to build the house, the Hearthfire DLC. And so, yeah, you can just sit there and mine clay for forever. Very inc Oh, gosh. Well, now we've gone and stuck our foot in it. So the wolves are getting easier. That's encouraging. And I didn't kill Lydia. Yay! One gold star for me. Okay, so here's a shout out to somebody who I've never met in person. Um, but I discovered her oh, within the past month or so. She's this really cute little British singer. Um, her YouTube channel is called Dottolottle. And yes, she is as cute as her YouTube channel name sounds. Uh, I'm going to sneak off into the water and swim around this castle, because I think this is the one with the dogs. Hey, there's a big old elk. Anyway, she has a cute little song called One Gold Star for Me. So that's what that was. That was why I get a gold star. Because I like her and she has a song. I knew there were two castles. I knew there were two dungeons. Hey look, little pier. Yeah, see, they've got wolf pits right there. Oh, I need to catch dragonflies. And these are all really, really wonderful um, ingredients. Potion ingredients, alchemy ingredients. And someday, I'm going to alchemize, and you guys are going to be like, what? But it's serious, serious business, so I don't usually do it uh, willy-nilly. I usually go and collect and save and collect and save and collect and save, and then I just do it all at once. And then I have a million potions that I have to sell. Uh, no, that's a plant. Lydia, are you still with me? Well, come on, girl. What's that? It's probably a rock, but I'm gonna look at it anyway. <gasps> it's a rock. It's very sunny out today. And I'm playing at 10 o'clock at night. Well, you know, Skyrim is like on the northern edge of everything, right? I guess maybe, maybe if you were up here, you would have that effect where it was like sunny at 10 o'clock at night. But probably not down in Riften. Because I always leave the road. <sighs> I'm sorry if I start singing. Where am I going? I don't even know. I've never seen this place before. It looks like a hunter's camp. And so it is. A hunter's camp. Now these guys are amazing to pickpocket. If you're good at pickpocketing. Which right now I'm not. I mean look at all this stuff that they have. They don't really have any good weapons so... So we'll just leave them alone, go back to the road, 
I don't even know how I got off the road. Oh, I was following the trail of the Canis route. That's what I was doing, and I got it. But I don't see the road. Where is it? Oh, it kind of disappears. Yeah, see, it's not actually there. What is that road? One of my, um... Ah! That just spawned out of nowhere. Yes, kill it for me, please. <laughs> Did everyone see that spawn? It, it just, like, popped out of nowhere. Uh, so that's what it looks like when a monster spawns. FYI. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. I was getting ready to say something. And it's gone. Man, this is really, really barren. I didn't realize that this area was so... boring. I've always loved this place because it's got the mountains and the birch trees. Or whatever those are with the white bark. Honestly, with the white bark and the golden leaves, they've always kind of reminded me of the description of Malorn trees in the Thorian. So you can now point your finger and make fun of me as an ultra nerd, but that's okay. I accept who I am. So yeah, I've always loved Riften. It's always, always 100% been my favorite, my favorite hold. With Falkreath and Whiterun tying as a close second. Uh... Who in the name of Azura are you? I don't know what this question is about, but you've had trouble with thieves? Are you kidding me? We're all alone out here except for a few guards who couldn't give a damn about us. We make easy pickings for thieves looking to steal everything we work so hard for. Aww. Not only did they take my bow, but they took all of our coin as well. Nothing sacred to these people. What happened to your bow? A few days ago, some thieves from Riften broke in here and stole it. Can you imagine? Took the only thing of value we had. If you have the guts to head into the Ratway and get my bow back, I'll pay you what I can. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. It'll be nice to have it back. It means a lot to me. Uh, I'm not going to continue the conversation. The Ratway is somewhere under Riften. Shouldn't be too tough to find. No, it shouldn't. Please let that actually be a kill shot. Yes! Oh, yo! Watch it, don't let it run away, because sometimes, sometimes it runs away. Man, that was amazing. Did you guys see that? Finally, a kill shot that landed. Bam! I'm really happy right now, guys. That was really satisfying. Ha <laughs> ha! And we made it to Riften, finally. If you haven't noticed, that's what this giant area up here is. <laughs> yeah, they have these wagons where you can, like, go up and... It's, like, fast traveling, but you have to pay for it because you haven't ever been there before. Uh, so you can actually do that and go from place to place and not have to deal with the perils of crossing the country. Oh, really? Huh? You just had to be that close, Lydia? <laughs> Hold but, there. uh, I don't usually Before do that. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. What's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? This is obviously a shakedown. All right, keep your voice down. You, want you should always, to hear always you? persuade this guy, because that's an mean. easy, uh, Just speech let me unlock the gate. thing. <clears throat> now he's gonna take, like, a million years 
to walk over. While he's doing this, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode, and we'll start up walking into Riften in the next one. So, uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Had a good time. See you next time.